Today on The Scoop, we'll be covering all of the highlights of entertainment news, from Miley in Future's new music video to the Fifty Shades of Grey casting drama. And then I'll be turning it over to Pathea for some hash swag to keep you updated on social media trends, including that Chinese food music video that has everyone talking. Also, stay tuned for word about the Netflix star that made their way to Vanderbilt's campus this past week. All that and more on The Scoop. And now we're going to play a little Instaglam or Insta Slam. First up, Selena Gomez. We're giving this pop star Instaglam status this week as despite being unable to take her usual post-show pics with the fans, the actress made it a priority to greet all of her fans for some more pictures at Dave Letterman. Insta Slam goes to Lady Gaga. We get it, you have an album coming out, so please stop posting photos of it from every angle. And we mean that, literally, you see every angle. Poor Austin Mahone, the pop star had to postpone his MTV's Artist to Watch tour due to a 103 degree fever. He would rock a hospital gown though. This one gets its own category, Insta Damn. The highly anticipated Fifty Shades of Grey movie is currently lacking a Christian Grey after British actor Charlie Hunnam unexpectedly dropped out of the flick. Reports say this was sparked by conflict with the film's creative team, but our guess is that it had something to do with the fact that they were only offering him $125,000. Sounds big, but not exactly fair when you see how large the return on investment has been for theatrical releases of books like Twilight and The Hunger Games. So now who will star opposite Dakota Johnson in this high-profile flick? Casting director Brooke Thomas says her top choice is Christian Bale, but she's doubtful he'll be able to join on such short notice. Other casting rumors include True Blood's Alexander Skarsgård, Once Upon a Time's Jamie Dornan, and even Robert Pattinson. Filming for the movie will begin November 5th to reach the cemented August 1st, 2014 release date. Speaking of books, who says the print age is becoming obsolete? Magazines have been causing uproar among celebrities like Russell Brand and Gwyneth Paltrow who want to join Miley Cyrus in all the action from her dismissal from the cover of Vogue. GQ recently eliminated all featured traces of Russell Brand from their Man of the Year issue after Brand made several Nazi jokes. To this he tweeted, GQ cleansed me from their issue. That's what they do when they don't like something. I guess that's why they dig the Nazis. Yikes. Okay. Gwyneth Paltrow has also caused quite an uproar after Vanity Fair announced they would like to put her on the cover with a damaging story. Vanity Fair has not yet changed their stance on issue, the issue despite Paltrow's resistance. Guess what time it is? Hash swag time. We're feeling swaggier than ever. Hashtag you heard me. Let's start this off by bringing back my segment from last year. What the f*** were they thinking? PMW Live, the creators of Friday by Rebecca Black, are back at it again. This time they released Chinese food sung by 12-year-old Allison Gold. From black to gold, well if I didn't know any better, I'd say hashtag PMW loves Vandy. Songwriter Patrice Wilson, the 30-year-old rapping in the car for the Friday video, hashtag why, claimed it only took him 30 minutes to write the song, 15 minutes longer than Friday, hashtag bragging rights. And don't worry, Patrice makes his way in the video in a panda costume, befriending Allison and later taking off the panda head in a slumber party with 12-year-old girls, hashtag pedo bear. What's hot now? Hot Pockets. Hashtag get them while they're hot. Snoop Dogg, who have officially rechristened himself as Snoopzilla, hashtag Prince George is not alone, has teamed up with Sports Illustrated model Kate Upton on a new music video that will make even the healthiest of eaters crave a Hot Pocket. Hashtag are you hungry yet? Hashtag you will be. Check out the video to see for yourself. SOS! Not to use their own lyrics against them, but the Joe Bros are in need of some serious family therapy. Hashtag, that's just the way they roll. Word is, there's trouble in Disney Paradise with Joe's new drug-using girlfriend mooching off the bros and causing a major rift. Hashtag, that's not Disney. Hashtag, we thought Miley was bad. Everything points to the band breaking up with the cancellation of their tour, deletion of their Twitter account, oh, and Joe breaking his silence to he now wanting to pursue a career in acting. Hashtag Camp Rock Forever. Let's hope this family is able to make amends. What isn't gone? Hashtag their good looks. Back to you, Lauren. Pictures of a nude Miley Cyrus painted head to tone glitter were released this past week from the set of Future's new music video. The space themed video for Future's real end tune in which Miley portrays an alien is set to be released soon. How soon? No one knows, but in anticipation for the release, we've put together some of our other favorite Miley music video moments. Check this out. 
First up, we'll take you on a little journey to the past to Miley's first post Hannah Montana single, Can't Be Tamed. Given Miley's recent overly sexual videos, it only seems right that we go back to where this all started. Next up, we have Miley's teddy bear inspired twerk party from her music video for We Can't Stop. From this video to the VMAs, we get it Miley, your twerking just won't stop. Lastly, Miley as she straddles a wrecking bar ball stark naked in her video for Wrecking Ball. From erotically licking a hammer to laying half naked in a pile of rubble, it's clear that Miley's sexual antics are unpredictable and possibly just beginning. In more Miley news, the release of her latest CD titled Bangers only sold about 274,000 copies despite being number one on the Billboard Top 200 chart. Perhaps people weren't amused by her twerk and sex craze after all, but not to worry Miley, the scoop lasted their copy of Bangers all the way to Gulf Shores, Alabama this past fall break. Also this past weekend, Vanderbilt's Lights on the Lawn returned to Alumni Lawn for their second annual event. The concert featured headliners Blau and Stratus with the goal to raise over $55,000 to donate to Mary Parish Center, a shelter for women and families who are victims of domestic and sexual violence. Lights on the Lawn wasn't the only organization bringing artists to campus this past week. More from entertainment correspondent Katherine Smith on a special Vandy appearance from one of the stars of Netflix's original series, Orange is the New Black. Thanks, Lauren. The LGBTQI community here at Vanderbilt is presenting several events in honor of National Coming Out Day this week, including a speaker session and Q&A with Laverne Cox. Laverne can be seen on the hit Netflix original series that debuted this summer, Orange is the New Black. This past Wednesday here at Vanderbilt, Laverne told the story of realizing and embracing her womanhood. Speaking of girl power, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler have just signed on to host next year's Golden Globes. But wait, even better news, the dynamic duo will also host the year after next. That's right, the pair has officially announced that they will be hosting the Globes for the next two years. With the high ratings and even higher entertainment value the lovely ladies brought to this year's Globes, we can't wait to see what they bring for the next two years. To help you get in the holiday spirit, and no, I'm not talking about Christmas just yet, The Scoop has put together a list of the must-see movies this Halloween weekend. The anticipated releases include Escape from Tomorrow, Machete Kills, and of course the reimagining of the classic horror, Carrie. For those of you stuck in the Vander bubble, not to worry, ABC Family's 13 Nights of Halloween has already begun and features classics like Hocus Pocus, Harry Potter, and Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. But that's not all. Stay tuned as I join the panel for a discussion on what to expect from our favorite celebs this Halloween. Okay, so like Catherine said, this week on the panel we're going to be discussing Halloween and making some of our own predictions on what celebrities will be wearing. I'm going to first start off by introducing who we have with us today. I'm Madeline Myers. I'm Catherine Smith. I'm Bethia Kwok. Okay, so Catherine, this is embarrassing, but do you know I actually watched the all 13 days on ABC Family? Somehow I am not surprised, Lauren. Yeah, well, um, did you also know that day four, I know Bethia will love this, I'm so is excited. the premiere of the Pretty Little Liars Halloween special. I cannot wait. Last year my RA kicked me off the floor because I was screaming so loudly during the episode because <laughs> it was quiet hours because it was during finals. It was during finals I last year. Yeah. Or midterms or something. Something yeah. like that. But it's also so frustrating because in that episode, everything gets like everything you thought you knew is destroyed and then you have to yeah. wait till January. I know, exactly. It's and someone yeah. always dies at the end. Mm -hmm. You just never know what's happening. I hope it's not Toby because they're gonna be doing I mean not Toby, I mean Caleb, because Ravenswood premieres right after and that oh, centers yeah. around Caleb. That would be oh, so I sad. I think everyone's obsessed with Caleb right now. It's gonna be a pretty good Halloween. And Pretty Little Liars um, Lucy Hale revealed to E! News that she's going to be dressing as Dolly Parton, which is really appropriate because she's been spending a lot of time in Nashville working on a country album. Ooh. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Do you have predictions on who's going to wear what? I want to see Heidi Klum's outfit. Mm. Her Halloween party is always the place to be for Halloween on celebs, and she's been everything from a body works exhibit to a monkey to she's the nuts. story of Adam and Eve. She's, she's got a lot of things going but on. What so is she going to do with that seal? Because they always kind of like, they do it all together. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a, a yeah. sad night to see that, uh, but yeah. Do you guys have more predictions? I expect to see a lot of people dressed as fox, just because of that Yelvis video. What does the fox say? <laughs> no, we're not going to bring it out at all. Right now. Okay. <laughs> <don't think. laughs> Such a good idea. Like, I never, I want to kind of do that. I was going to do Miley Cyrus in the teddy bear onesie. 
But, um, can't forget the foam finger either. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I could just be, you said earlier, the sports bra on the foam finger. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel like everyone just has those lying around. You can be like oh, a okay. Commodore Miley. A Commodore <laughs> I did that. I have an Instagram online. Check that out where I have the foam finger. It's really not appropriate. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, what are you guys, what are you guys going to be? Let's round this out. What are you going to be, Bethia? I think with my friends we're gonna be those trolls, which is kind of weird, but it's like the colored hair what do you mean up there. Those trolls. I have those troll dolls. It, it's a funny. Oh, the dolls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and you have a little with embellished dress, dress on your belly. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's a thing. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> okay. What are you gonna be? It's usually a last minute kind of endeavor for me, so maybe I'll just have to hop on and be a <laughs> troll with the Thea, or pull out the cheerleading outfit from last year. Who knows? Okay. If they're doing something together, I vote we go as the foxes. Absolutely. We can yeah. definitely not. <laughs> like, right hair and like. <laughs> <laughs> that be cute, and you guys will be trolls. So, <laughs> thank you so much for watching our panel. I hope that we gave you some amazing ideas between trolls and <laughs> boxes and Dolly Parton. I think you've got something to work with. So we'll see you guys next time. Check out our Facebook, Twitter, etc., etc. Don't miss my Instagram, apparently. For that. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Okay. Shameless. Bye. Bye. Bye.